Hey everyone, a very quick tip for you for the kitchen, how to prepare and to store your ginger. So now as you can see in there, in my little food processing machine here, I do have my ginger, but I haven't even bothered to peel it. It is fresh, young ginger, which is available um, in the vegetable store at the moment. So you don't even have to bother peeling it. That is step number one. Do not waste your time nor your ginger by going through the um, processes of peeling it. You can actually just slice it into pieces, put it into your food processor, and then let your food processor do all the work now the reason why i'm going to try and put this on with one hand this is going to be fun <laughs> bear with me oh we're on um the reason why we uh, don't use jarred ginger so that's ginger that's been already pre-minced or pre um pre um pureed is that if you have a look at the back of the ingredient list on your ginger jar what you tend to find is that your ginger will be full of sugar and gluten usually so we make it fresh and this amount of ginger I keep in my fridge stored all the time stored in my fridge in a little plastic container with a lid obviously and that'll last me for about a week so once it's in there it takes that long and you have your own freshly minced ginger pure ginger like I said do not worry about taking off that skin hi to Karen hi to Miley thank you for joining me ladies really cool little tip um, that just saves me so much time and energy and then I always have freshly prepared ginger and not that awful minced ginger with the you know sugar and gluten in it this is always in my fridge ready to go ready to add and make something absolutely fabulous all right guys talk soon bye